Hey everybody, welcome back to Hooked on OC. It's time for the Angler's Advantage. We're here at Atlantic Tackle, and uh, I'd like to welcome our friend Bill Pino. Hey. Good to see you, Bill. Good to see you. He's representing Pakula Lures, and uh, Pakula's a name that's been around for a long time, uh, but Bill's uh, a local distributor and has made it available to us, which is a big deal. Well, thanks. Uh, thank God you came. I hooked Lennox in the mouth last time right. when he was trying to eat the dress. He's it's on the fillet table back there somewhere. <laughs> They're going to get a lot out of that. Anyway, we're here to talk about Pakula. Squid Nation is the North American distributor and Central American distributor for Pakula Lures Australia. And I just want to talk a little bit about uh, size of lure, position of lure, and the hooks that, that uh, Peter recommends. Uh, we're going to start with the long riggers. Right. Um, Peter always has recommended a smaller bait uh, for the long riggers, like a mini sprocket or a cockroach. Uh, it, when we're talking about stuff in the clear water, a um, little bit smaller goes a long way. And he loves these uh, mini sprocket and these cockroach heads for long rigger baits. Um, especially when your target is white marlin. We as marlin right. fishermen, white marlin fishermen, the white marlin capital of the world, we love to fish for white marlin and we love to use dink ballyhoos. But for some reason, when we decide to use a lure, we want to use a huge lure. Uh, Peter says, why right. don't you use a lure the same size as <laughs> the ballyhoo? Right. You're right. probably going to get bit and it'll stick. So small lures, a uh, lot of and, color, a lot of bright colors uh, right. on the long riggers. And a little lighter line and that lure is swimming better with the lighter line than, than it is. Uh, Absolutely. With, yeah. Absolutely. So go small on your long riggers when you're white marlin fishing. Uh, great dolphin baits. Uh, a lot of guys use these on charters uh, because you're not going through so much bait. Right. Okay. And, and they, they love the dolphin bites on these things. Uh, and uh, the guys on the instigator once told me we love this one lure, this one pakula. Can you please get it for us? Uh, it's a great dolphin bait for charters, and you wouldn't believe how many blue marlin we caught with this thing. So, wow. you know, big fish eat little things. So there you go. Uh, moving down to the short riggers, uh, or even another long rigger bait, depending on what you're going after, is the medium lure. Uh, this is the number one lure uh, seller for Peter Bakula. Wow. It's the, the Lumo Sprocket. This is actually the medium edition. It's actually the Jet edition. I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But um, the Lumo Sprocket is considered one of the best lures in the world by Marlin Magazine, by Sport Fishing Magazine, by all the experts. Uh, and he's been selling this lure for close to 30 years now. Uh, one of the top sellers. This color, Lumo Green Sprocket. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about how that, how that lure is rigged uh, in a setup? He makes it so simple to rig the lures. Um, basically, he would like, he, he, he talks a little differently about rigging a lure than, than other people does. He wants the hook to be completely free of the lure. Okay. A lure can spin every once in a while. Uh, and he wants this lure to be, this hook to be pointed up at all times. Okay. So what he does is instead of keel weighting the lure or instead of attaching the lure to the hook, which a lot of people do, he'll keel weight the, 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 the hook itself. We'll put a little weight on here. We'll tie it on. It's a, it's a cool keel weight and uh, with a little cable, uh, about a four or five inch cable. And the hook kind of lays right about here, uh, a, a little bit past the, the, the skirt. Uh, by, by keel weighting the actual hook, the lure is free to do whatever it wants right. to do. The hook's still going to come back up. Murphy's, uh, Murphy's Law says if you got a stiff rig and your hook is, is, is uh, attached to the head, uh, when that thing spins, that fish is going to hit, okay? And you're going to miss that fish. Uh, I must have must misunderstood that Murphy's Law. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on uh, to uh, a larger bait. Um, this is the original, well, this is the original head anyway, the, the, the sprocket head. This is my favorite uh, sprocket. This is the Sprocket 40 and Blue Crystal. I've caught a blue marlin in seven different countries with this lure. Uh, with this very, That's got to be some kind of record. <laughs> uh, I love this thing. It looks, it, it just, it looks fishy in the water. Uh, the, the, the only blue marlin I've caught in Cuba came on this thing. When we went out to the fads, this was the, the number one lure that we used. Um, and we had it keel weighted 
and we trolled it on the uh, short rigger and the long rigger um, because when we're fishing for blue marlin, we like to use a little bit bigger of a, a, a lure. Yeah. Right. I noticed that lure has a, a jet style head on it. Is that something that's specific to that model, or no? He does jets for everyone. Okay. Every one of his lures. I'll, and I'll, I'll and what what does that jet head do exactly? Like. The jet head makes a little bit of a smoke trail. It, it, it kind of makes a small lure look big and a big lure look huge. Right. Okay, because when it when it pops out of the water a little bit, the head pops out of the water. It takes a little bit of air in, and it just leaves a bubble trail. Right. And that just kind of makes this thing look a little bit bigger. Now, a lot of guys, especially around here on the East Coast, a lot of guys that like to use these things as teasers uh, behind a flippy floppy, behind a daisy chain, behind a spreader bar, whatever they use, they they like to use them as teasers or by themselves. If you're gonna use one by your, by itself, uh, and and you're not gonna put like a ballyhoo or a, a, a dolphin belly or something a bonita belly on it, go with a jet head, okay? Because it'll create that that smoke. If you're gonna use it with meat inside of it, go with the non jet head, okay? Because the meat inside of it is going to clog up the it's going to stop the jet right action so it's going to be worthless to use it so always remember when you're using a bait non jet head when you're using no bait it's just a lure by itself uh go jet head right lastly we go to the flat lines uh the flat lines there's nothing more exciting than a flat line bite of a big giant blue marlin uh it, it it's it's what we live for right I got two big old lures here, and I, I got the same color, and I got the same color on purpose just because it's the number one seller in this color. Yeah. Okay. We got. And this is Thursday afternoon of the white marlin. The built boards filled with great white marlin, and everybody switches their attention to the blue marlin, and this is this is what you want to break out to go get them. I call it Thursday afternoon changing day. Right. Because right. <laughs> because something always happens That's right. on Thursday, and the board just changes. Right. Uh, this is the wombat and this is the rat. The Lumo, I mean the, the uh, rat frigate is probably the number two seller for Peter. Um, you know, they're, they're fads that something comes, a color comes in and it'll take over for like right. a year or so. But this year in and year out and the Lumo sprocket year in and year out are the two top sellers, okay? The wombat can be used as a single teaser all by itself uh, or you can use the old size 50 hook here right uh, the Pakula 50 hook and conjunction some people like to double double hook rigs um, personally I don't but um, that would be probably one of the biggest uh, one of the top big lures and this is the rat it's got the same exact head it's just in size right. that's different he kind of went the, the the rodent route with this he's got wombat rat mouse cockroach right and, and then uh, Pakula, this is not new to the scene i mean they've been around for what is it 30 years now or, or Peter better Pakula, i think has been around 40 years okay uh, yeah in the 80s he uh he he took his lures to australia and started winning a bunch of tournaments and he turned a lot of heads because the right. australians are known for their lures right um and he did very very well could not keep them in stock right um started kind of kind of started fooling around making them for friends and next thing you know what crazy yeah kind of like what we did well <laughs> yeah uh well get in check out the pakula lures we got an amazing selection here bill's filling more every day and uh you know it's something that everybody should have in their tackle center and ready to deploy it at any moment thanks a lot guys thank you we'll be right back with some more hooked on oc